Senator Stirl. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Acting Deputy President. I want to talk about some fine work that's been conducted on the Rural Regional Affairs and Transport Committee. But before I do, I think this is something that Australians really have to understand what's going on in this nation. What we've uncovered through our road safety inquiry is the exploitation of foreign workers, predominantly Indians here, through the, uh, 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 corrupting the visa system. And what has come out is on the Hansard record that there are scumbags in this fine country that are bringing Indians, Indians into Australia on student visas, student visas, visas Mr Acting Deputy President, and then they're being employed as truck drivers. So these students, these, and I'm not having to go at Indians, let me just get this clearly, everyone's welcome in this nation, what I'm having to go at is the exploitation through the visa system and God only knows what they're being paying, but they're being paid at the exploitation of Australian jobs. This is where I have a real problem, and Senator Williams has been working very closely with me on this, and we continue, and we will, we will continue to delve into this disgusting behaviour that's being conducted in this nation. The Department of Immigration and Border Protection are well aware of it because they are the ones that gave us the information. When we finally sucked it out of the department in a hearing, what the hell visa were these, these drivers on? This was the B-double. I made a mistake. I, thought, I just saw a tweet. I thought it was a semi. It was a B-double. So all those passionate truckies out there that can't wait, good old truckies, to tell me I've got the wrong confederation. Well done, boys. Yeah, I get it. Now put the effort into your fingers and start dobbing these so-and-sos into the, exploiting these people. That would be a far better use of their energy. But I have to tell you, this was the ones that were employed with Scots Transport. These are the so-called—I don't know what they do during the week, Mr Acting Deputy President. Maybe they are studying medicine. Maybe they're studying some fantastic or doing some fantastic work to become great citizens and, and help out kids with cancer, or maybe nuclear medicine. I don't know. But are they seriously on that side of the chamber? Do they seriously believe that us that have a trucking background, those of us that actually are passionate about Australian jobs and Australian apprenticeships, believe that these students on Friday night, might pack up the school books, put them into the case, put them into the, uh, into the locker at, at uni, then jump in a B-double and do a two-up operation between Brisbane and Sydney and back, pull the other leg. Seriously. But in Queensland, I have to tell you, I'm going to read some excerpts from the correspondence I had on behalf of the Queensland Government, the Department of uh, Transport and Main Roads. They were fantastic. And they'd taken information from us. We said we have a real problem. What we found out, there is a a RTO in Tweed Heads, and I'll give you the name of the RTO, and I'm not going to rush because I'm going to come back in this chamber every week and do a speech on this and keep everyone updated on what's going on. There is a twisted, bent, corrupt RTO in Tweed Heads who, who was bringing the Indians in, the Indian students in, to, uh, from Queensland into New South Wales. They were doing their training there. He was assessing them, then he was ticking off and saying that they're fit to drive, then they were going back to Queensland. The Queensland government, thank goodness for the Queensland government, issued 113 show causes to these 113 people who have come through this corrupt uh, uh, provider of transport for heavy vehicle licensing and issued 113 show causes. Why should you have a licence? The result of that, Mr Acting Deputy President, was 60 licence holders have had their heavy vehicle licence class downgraded to a car licence. Uh, now, what else happened here? Oh, yeah, six have passed the QSAFE class heavy rigid practical driving test demonstrating their competency to hold a class HR licence, and 47 have been granted an extension of time to undergo further testing. Now, Mr. Acting Deputy President, I know your commitment to young Australian workers through your previous life and how you were successful in gaining an apprenticeship and became a tradesman. If this was happening in plumbing or electrics, or house building, oh, I might do for all I know, there would be an absolute uproar. Why is there not an absolute uproar from that side of the chamber that Indian truck drivers are being brought into this nation, corruptly trained in Queensland, given licences, and they're going out on the roads and being exploited? God only knows how dangerous these boats can be. So what I'm asking on the website, that I've, uh, my Facebook that I've started, where we've had 216,000 people contacted, 37,000 views and 1,012 shares, dob them in, dob them in, and I will be proud to stand up here and I will dob in and I will relay your words of every corrupt employer of transport or user of transport that is exploiting Indian drivers on and exploiting the visa uh, system and Senator Williams and I will continue the good work. We've only just started scratching the surface, Mr. Acting Deputy President. This is going to be fun.